Alrighty, and welcome back guys. So now one thing people ask a ton is kind of what my tips are on the quickest way to level up in uh, Cold War. Uh, and I've kind of got strats for some zombies in multiplayer, uh, but there is a broken strat right now in multiplayer. We're leveling up really fast. It's really annoying to deal with, and you've probably played against people using this strategy. And uh, I'm gonna kind of break it down and show you guys why this strat's so insane. Now this does involve playing hardcore, uh, smaller modes, and using shotguns. And yes, the uh, the striker and the spaz are extremely easy to use in hardcore, but that is not the only reason why you will be getting tons and tons of XP for using these in hardcore. And honestly, I don't know how I truly feel about this strat because like I said, this is a really newbie strat. It's so annoying to play against, but I mean, at this point, if you have played hardcore Nuketown, uh, essentially you've realized that it is either use a shotgun or die to a shotgun because I guarantee you more than half the people in every lobby are going to be running around with a striker and a spaz spamming continuously. Now the main reason for this is because metal farming is an amazing way to get XP. It really is. It is very strong and you can get a ton of XP by farming metals. Now what I mean by metal farming is every time you get a metal that pops up on your screen there is xp rewarded with that and there are things you can do to maximize the amount of metals you get if you are playing hardcore you are going to get on average more xp than someone playing core because most of the kills you get will be one shot one kills every time you see that metal pop up on your screen that is an additional 50 xp now you might say oh 50 xp dude that's nothing but trust me after every game you play if you're only playing hardcore that adds up very very quickly because it's not just 50 xp now it's 50 xp every kill now 50 xp is going to add up relatively quickly let's say you play for a day and you get 500 kills right that extra 50 xp over those 500 kills translate to 25,000 extra xp just for playing hardcore now that is one of the reasons people play hardcore now however if you are using a shotgun you're going to be getting quite a few extra medals more than just that one because yes pretty much every kill you with a shotgun on hardcore is going to give you that one shot one kill medal but on top of that you are going to be getting tons and tons of long shot medals because shotguns in hardcore have a ton of range they're always a one shot at any range you get and the majority of the kills i'd say about half of them are also going to be a long shot medal so that means an extra additional 50 xp on the other half of your kill so you're getting an extra 50 xp on all of your kills and an extra 100 on all of them and just more and more medals especially when running around with a shotgun i mean if you're playing on nuketown you're also going to be getting kill chains you're going to be getting just a ton of those other rapid kill medals like double kills uh, if you're running a hater there is a uh, challenge you get for that as well as long as quad feeds uh just tons of stuff like this now one thing that i did realize while i was kind of calculating metal xp here and i i don't think this is supposed to work like this and this is kind of dumb you know the ultra killer right so to get an ultra killer you have to get seven enemies within a short time of each other so if you get seven kills and die you will get an ultra killer medal there's also another medal called a kill chain medal which is a step above it is getting more than seven so it's getting seven plus rapid kills so essentially it would be eight or more rapid kills right for some reason the ultra kill medal is worth 500 xp right whereas the kill chain metal is worth 100 xp so it's more beneficial to get a seven and die than it is to get that eighth kill because you'll actually get less xp for the metal for some reason so i just i kind of found that a little funny um i, I don't know because i was looking at all the different xp you get for metals i think that's a bug i don't think they intended to give you you know less xp for a higher rapid kill uh, that'd be like getting less xp for getting a nuclear than you do for the brutal but yeah just a small thing i doubt they'll ever get patched it's such a small thing and honestly over time it's it's not gonna make a huge difference whether or not but still so yeah as you can see here this is just absolutely insane so another thing that makes this super easy not only are shotguns ridiculously good uh you get extra xp for using them in hardcore uh, on top of that, Gung Ho right now is ridiculously strong. Uh, an added benefit of Gung Ho is if you hold a frag grenade, you hold a stun grenade, while you are running, you do not have any sprint to fire time. Your gun, you'll be able to run and have your gun up at all times, meaning when you stop, there isn't gonna be a momentary second where you've gotta pull your gun up before you shoot. You're gonna be able to just run around continuously spamming. And if you've seen and you've been playing Hardcore Nuketown, you see someone running around holding a Simtex or frag grenade to get the full effect of uh, Gung Ho. And it is it is insane. People run around with Simtexes. That way when you kill them, drops a Simtex. And now they've got Marty Dom. 
Uh, and even without that, though, this is still a ridiculous strat. And the footage you're watching, I made sure for more than half the gameplay just to not be using the uh, the gung ho strat. That way, to kind of show you, even without it, like these weapons are still OP. It's not just because of gung ho. It, these weapons are still kind of absolutely insane now if you want a really quick class rundown and this is going to apply for both shotguns essentially the most important attachment you can run while xp farming using this you want to be using the barrel that gives you the most effective damage range so this barrel for the spriker gives you plus 30 percent effective damage range you don't need extra damage this would be useless in hardcore it's always going to be a one shot the fire rate helps a little bit but if you can hit your shots consistently trust me that extra 30 percent range is so much especially when you're comparing on nuketown and you're going to be getting so many more long shots and just a ton of extra stuff also the wider pellet spread is an amazing attachment it's gonna make your pellet spread out wider it's always going to be one hit anyway so now you've got a bigger uh effective range that you can hit people with uh, i use the very last sight the one that gives you the extra hit fire because we're hit firing a ton with this and yes takes your sprint to fire time but if you're using the gun ho strategy you don't have any sprint to fire time so there's no negative effect there uh, for the striker, I run the biggest possible barrel. My strategy with the striker is I run, I've got 18 shots with this. My goal is to get about 10 kills with the striker and then die. Start fresh. Because if you're reloading the striker, uh, you're wasting time because it takes too long to load and your XP is going to go down. So unless you're on a really good streak, uh, as soon as you get 10 kills, swap to your primary, die, and then start again with the striker. Yes, it's going to make it load 32% slower, but if you're not reloading at all, then it doesn't matter. And for the stock, I do use the sprint to fire time because like I said, I don't always use the gung ho thing. I like to be able to ADS sometimes uh, and whatnot. But yeah, that is really the uh, setup you want to be using for that. Definitely uh, for your perk, you want to be running gung ho, uh, tactical mask, flak jacket, really good option. Scavenger, just in case, you know, you want to kind of go on some higher streaks and then just a bunch of good stuff like that. But yeah, this strat is just absolutely insane. It is so annoying. Uh, to deal with but i mean at this point you've got to just join in like hardcore nuketown right now is so broken everyone's spamming shotguns it's either join in or just die in rage to uh shotguns and i have decided to join them because i'm not gonna sit here and continuously die to shotguns anymore it's it's not not gonna happen we're just gonna street sweeper until they eventually fix this hopefully they fix it hopefully they fix it but uh yeah the xp is insane i just played one quick game for this uh we ended up getting 90 eight one shot one kill medals from my very first game of playing it granted it was a domination game but still the sheer amount of xp we got from just this one game wasn't even a cherry pick game i'm like all right let's go get some footage from this yeah it is it, it's just so broken and the amount of xp you get is insane and i really think that you can get one level per game during double xp like double xp isn't even live right now i mean that was one just quick game without double xp and we got thirty seven thousand xp 37,000 xp no double xp none of that and i'm pretty sure it takes less than 50,000 xp to uh rank up so i mean legitimately whenever there's double xp launch that is one x that is one level plus some per game just by running around with these shotguns so trust me next double xp weekend dude we're just gonna be demolishing through some of these uh levels to get closer to a thousand yeah and honestly i wouldn't even feel bad for using the shotgun metal boys because, like I said, if, if you've played Hardcore Nuketown, I mean, it's it's everywhere. You can't avoid it. Uh, you might as well just join in, get some easy XP uh, until they till they do something about these absolute monsters uh, in Hardcore. But, yeah, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end it. If you guys have any other tips in multiplayer, I haven't made my zombie videos yet. Trust me, we're going to be covering XP and zombies in another video. If you have any tips that uh, you use to help rank yourself up in uh, multiplayer, definitely let me know. Maybe there's a quicker way... Uh, maybe there's a way that's a little bit more, you know, respectable than running around with these uh, with these monsters uh, in hardcore. But just just go ahead and let me know, boys. But with that, I'm going to let this gameplay finish off for you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.
You're not stepping away from where I'm shooting. You wouldn't die, you dumbass. Mission parameters are green across the board. 